before we talk about racing and dirt bikes and all that, um, how was your off season? Did you did you get into anything fun? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Me and the boys, we golfed, we golfed, and we golfed. Uh, hung out with some cool people. Got to catch up with Daniel. Um, he came back over, obviously still in between his season before he was heading off to Mexico uh, Grand Prix and uh, caught up with Jack Miller. So that was cool. Uh, at MotoGP Austin, we went there. That was awesome. Red Bull hosted us. That was really, really cool. We seen the drags at the Pomona. What else did we do? We golfed, uh, moved into a new house. Um, Jeremy Siwa just surprised me the other day, rocked up. Uh, on my doorstep in back in Florida and had no idea so that was a, one of the best surprises I've ever had in my life because I had I literally was talking to him the day before and like you know I was sure he wasn't coming over like we'd already talked about it. he's like dude I can't like you know all the vaccine stuff it's crazy you know and um and then yeah he made it happen so uh yeah it was it was that was that was phenomenal that was really really cool so that's uh what else I'm just trying to think we've been busy we've been very busy we we just cracking on with, with clothing stuff, with filming things away from, you know, the track for Red Bull Media content and stuff like that. So it's been, it's been very busy, actually. It's been busy, been very, very productive. Cool. Um, how has your, uh, how's your prep been as far as, as, good. Far as for the next racing season? Talk good. about that. Yeah, really good. We're, uh, we're way ahead of where we were last year. Uh, last year we were, on the bike, we got back on the bike after my shoulder Rico the day after Christmas. So we're, we're leaps and bounds ahead of where we were last year, which is cool, which is cool. So I'm not, I'm not under any stress, not like trying to jam as many motos in as I can. I'm able to just do my riding, get my laps into everything I need to. Um, and, and yeah, just riding and training with Jet. So that's, that's really cool. cool. Um, it seemed like you were gaining gaining momentum from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. I mean, that's an yeah. obvious thing that's going to happen. Uh, you even got caught on the podium a few times and the win and this and that. Talk about talk about, I guess, the highs of, of this past season. It was good, you know. Two wins were cool. A few podiums, multiple podiums was good as well. Um, it was really just kind of reviving my career in a way. In all reality, I, just, I you know turned it around. So this year was good. The results obviously would have loved better, but at the time where we were and where we came from, uh, it was incredible, you know. So that was that was really good. Um, we're obviously looking for to be you know one step, two steps better uh, this year. So we've got a, a big job ahead of us. Um, but no. I, we're in a good place. We're in a good place. This year was great. Earned a lot of things and and proved you know myself and and just you know restored everything. So it was good. Um, as as everybody knows, you spent time racing the GPS before you came over here. Um, yeah. What are what were kind of some of the differences and similarities between the GPS compared to the nationals over here in the U.S. So the biggest difference from first national was kind of like how which is it's it's hard to compare because the supercross over here is incredible and it's like the premium it's the premier championship i think it's safe to say and over there obviously mxgp is a premier championship so that's kind of like their their big deal you know and the nationals here it, it's it's not as built up as as what the mxgp is you know mxgp's got the skybox behind you you've got the the little booths that you wait in before you line up you've got the pit lane double story pit lane and stuff we're here at like the first hang town i'm like there's a few tents like a few pop-up easy ups and like there's a, just a banner behind us and like people stand on the track like no banners along the track and i'm kind of like yeah okay this is it all right this is it you know like let's get amped up and it was kind of a little hard to get amped up because i'm just kind of like feels like a glorified practice day um so yeah that's probably the biggest uh one of the biggest differences how they prep the tracks as well is very different um so yeah there's there's not many similarities despite the fact it's racing <laughs> for sure so uh next year for supercross it's kind of going back to normal with racing just on saturdays not three rounds within a week yeah. Um, there's going to be fans in the stands again. You've got to be excited for kind of probably more of that than yeah. Anything, right? I mean, dude, the supercrosses with the fans, the stadium, that whole atmosphere. If anyone's been in there, they'll tell you straight up, it's a million times better with a full crowd than there is if you're just sitting there by yourself watching it. So it's good. It's going to be great for the sport. We get back to normality. It's great for the world that we're getting back to, you know, somewhat normality. Obviously, there's still a bunch of crazy stuff going on, but um, the fact we can have, you know, 
full full attendance. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's full attendance. Um, sporting events is uh, is good. So good good step good step forward. Cool. Um, recently, I've and myself along with everyone else, we've kind of gained an understanding as to the sacrifices that that your both your parents have made to get to get you guys to where you are now. Um, talk about that and what it's like to kind of start to repay them back with podiums and wins and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, so it's uh, a lot of people, you know, even back home and stuff, everyone, it's always easy for, for people that who kind of make it out, they always get get thrown in the, ah, oh, they had the money, if only we had the chance and stuff. And, and I can say straight up, we didn't have money, we had jack shit, you know, we literally, nothing you know and we we drove ourselves into 170 grand worth of debt living in europe with teams not paying us and stuff you know um just you know it took us two years to pay all that back um when we first got here you know my, jed and myself so um where we are now is an amazing place so yeah it's not all sunshine and rainbows like it's it was a, a grind and and very uncomfortable to get here you know so uncomfortable and we spent so much time living in in that that hole that discomfort you know we feel a little more comfortable in that in that discomfort of of life and stuff more so than the, the comfortable thing like now when we're our life's so great like it kind of feels we're kind of like okay what's about to happen because it's it's never been like this so it's cool because in europe whenever you know a few weeks ago passed it was smooth sailing something would always come straight after it you know so um yeah it's cool to kind of tell our story a little bit on a few podcasts and and even even to that you know how much we kind of talked about and stuff there's still still so much more which is crazy it feels like in those those three years of living there we we experienced and lived through um more shit than some people uh experience in a lifetime so uh, extra, uh yeah it's 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 fortunate and um it's cool it's it's yeah we've lived a lot uh, as for how young we are cool. um as far as racing next year um i know the obvious goal is to win races championships and this and that do you have anything a little bit more obscure than that set for yourself to accomplish yeah for sure i mean you ask anyone what they want and it's yeah i want to win i want to obviously that's what we want that's why we're here um so that's that's a a necessity for me you know i need to win i need these championships this year it's not a want it's a necessity for me that's how important it is to me so um the things i want to achieve is is something i want to accomplish is uh, some things are off the bike a little more a little more things left of center a little more off the way from the bike kind of kind of stuff um but yeah the racing's it's a necessity for me cool all right hunter thanks for chatting with us bro thank you thanks for having me